Assalamu alaikum students. I hope you all are doing good. Welcome to your biology session number 5. Today we are going to review the exercise of chapter number 9 in which there are MCQs, short and long questions. Now for the first task, number 1 is the multiple choice question which are on page 205 and 206. The page of your book is also shown over here so that there won't be any confusion. Now let us try to solve some of these MCQs. Look at the MCQs number 1. In most plants, the food is transported in the form of dash. Now, which one is the answer? Option B is the correct answer, sucrose. Next one, stomata close when the guard cell. Option A, lose water. Option B, gain chloride ions. Option C, become turgid. And option D, gain potassium ions. Now, none of the options are correct except for the option A, which is lose water. So, it is the correct answer. Next is number 3. Trace the pathway of water from the soil through plant to the atmosphere. Now to solve this one you have to uh, go through the figure of the topic transport water and you can see the correct answer is the option C. From root hairs to epidermis to cortex to xylem to endodermis intracellular spaces in mesophyll cells to stomata. Now let us try to solve number 9. Which of the following chambers has the thickest walls in human heart? It is option C, left ventricle. We know that it has to supply the blood to the whole body. So, it is the correct answer. Now, let us try to solve the MCQs number 13. Which of the following is a function of human blood? Option A, it transports body temperature. Uh, it regulates body temperature. Yes. It transports waste. Yes. Is pro it provides defense? Yes. And option D, all of the above. So the correct answer is option D. Moving on to our next MCQs, uh, let's, let's try to solve number 18. A patient with blood group A can be given the blood of donor who has blood group A and AB. No. Blood group A or O. Yes, this is the correct answer. C, B, group A only. No. And D1 is the blood group O only. No. The correct answer is B, A and O. Moving on to our next MCQs which is option number 19. The death of the heart tissue is called dash. Atherosclerosis? No. Arteriosclerosis? No. Myocardial infarction? Yes. And option D. Thalassemia? Reject this one. The correct answer is option C. Now moving on to our next task which is the short question answers. Now short question answer number 1 is... What are lenticels and where are they found in the plant body? You can find out the answer for this question on page 173 under the topic transpiration. Paragraph number 1. Now the paragraph starts from transpiration is the and in, in uh, ends at stems of some plants. This is the answer question number 1. Now for 2. What is the role of potassium ions in the opening of stomata? You can find the answer on page number 174, last paragraph, line number 3, which starts from light causes the movement, so on, and uh, the paragraph ends at closure of stomata. Now, moving on to question number 3, define cohesion tension theory. You can find out the answer for this question on page number 181, topic transport of water. Paragraph number 2 and 3 complete are the answer for this question which are starting from the process by which and the paragraph ends at salts up from the roots. Now the next question number 4 and 5 are written over here along with their answers. Now go to page 184 to find out the answer of question number 4 and 5 uh, question number answer will be on page number 186. Moving on to our next question that is question number 6. You can find out the answer question number 6 on page number 187 under the topic platelets. The first info box under the heading of the platelets is the answer for question number 6 which starts from the WBC's dye and ends at infection sites. Now question number 7. What role does the pericardial fluid play? You can find out the answer on page 192 under the heading of human heart. Paragraph number 3 complete is the answer of question number 7. Moving on to question number 8. Define the terms systole and diastole. You can find out the answer on page number 194 to 195. And along with these, you can also use the sessions which are uh, in which the slides are used in previous sessions. You can find out the complete and proper definitions of systole and diastole from those slides as well. Now our next task is to find out the answer of long questions. 
Now the question number one, how would you relate the internal structure of root with the uptake of water and salts? Now the answer for this question is on page number 172 under the heading of water ion and uptake. The answer comprises of the complete topic starting from the paragraph number two, uh, the conducting tissues till the end of the paragraph number two that is to all the areas and the aerial parts of the plants. Next question, define transpiration and relate it with the cell surface and with stomatal opening and closing. You can find out the answer for this question on page number 173 and uh, to 174. Topic is transpiration and opening and closing of stomata. Now the answer comprises of the complete topic along with the diagrams on page number 175 that is the leaf surface area. Moving on to our next question, question number 3 and 4 are on the page number 175 and 176. Find out the answers by yourself and try to solve the questions given. Now question number 5, you can find the answer for the transport of water movement in, uh, on page number 181 to 182. Along with this question number 6 is on page 183 to 184. Moving on to our next question, that is question number seven. Question number seven is the functions of the human blood components. This is on page 187 under the heading of composition of blood. This complete table, table 9.9 .9 is the answer for this question. Now question number eight, the answer is on page 189 and ends at page 191 the guidelines for the answer is also given in this slide now question number five you have to find out the answer by yourself which is on page number 188 and 189 now moving on to our next question that is question number 10 the answer is on page number 192 on the topic human heart question number 11 is the comparison of human artery vein and capillary the answer is on page 199 on table 9.1 in which there is a comparison table given now along with this you also have to draw the diagram on page 198 which is figure 9.19 blood vessels now for question number 12 and 13 you have to draw the diagram which is mentioned on page 201 uh, figure 9.21 under the heading of major arteries and veins in human body Question number 14 is how would you differentiate between atherosclerosis and arteriosclerosis? You can find out the answer on page number 202 and 203. Now make the points of differences and write it in the form of columns. Now the last question is question number 15 which is the last question of your exercise. This, state the causes and treatment uh, and prevention of myocardial infection. You can find out the answer for this question on page number 203 to 204 under the topic myocardial infection. The, the complete topic start uh, from start till the end is the answer. Write down the answer carefully by making appropriate headings like the causes, treatments and prevention. Now here is the summary of the whole exercise in case any one of you has missed the answer, the answer and the page number on which the answer has been given on mentioned in this picture. You can go through the previous slides and through this slide as well. Now here is a little task for you. Uh, this is our task number four which is extra question. This is for your self assessment. Here are some of the questions. Uh, along with the questions, the answer on which the questions can uh, be sorted out are given along with their page number like for example over here the questions are taken from page 171 till 176 you have to find out the answer for all of these questions and uh, after finding out these answers you have to write down these answers in proper notes now this is the self-assessment from the whole exercise from page 190 to 196 there are some of the questions along with these 197 to 202 there are some other questions as well now from the page 202 to 3 there are the questions with now these are total 18 questions like for example look over here the 17 is what is angina pectoris write its symptoms you can write the answer from page 202 and write it in the form of precise and appropriate headings like definition and symptoms. Now this is all for our biology sessions. I hope you all have enjoyed our biology sessions. Now keep reading and keep learning. Thank you.